Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and I am looking a hot mess today. I am pretty much fresh out of bed. My hair is flat in the back and it's wash day and I'm using some products that I need to apply before I wash. So I'm using the new boosting kit from the main choice. And what's in the kit is a mocha and molasses anti-shedding remedy. There is a triglyceride mint scalp renewal, a sea kelp and fever few herb rehydration therapy, and also the silk amino acid and keratin reconstructor treatment. And on the back of the kit, it shows you what each of the items do and it tells you how to use it. And it says this is a boost to take your hair to the next level. So I plan to use three out of the four items in the kit because two of the items you use after you shampoo, uh, which is the rehydration therapy and the reconstructor treatment. So I don't wanna use two items that, I won't say do the same thing, but have the same application. So the next time I will use the other one. So I plan to use the Mocha Molasses Anti-Shedding Remedy, the Mint Scalp Renewal, and the um, Rehydration Therapy. So I'm gonna be using the Anti-Shedding Remedy, which is the Mocha and Molasses. And it says apply to dry hair prior to shampooing, leave on up to 30 minutes, rinse thoroughly, shampoo and condition or co-wash in style as usual. So let's go ahead, open this up. You can see it looks just like molasses. Smells good. Smells like molasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this and see what it is looking like. This is the consistency. It's thick like molasses. Okay, it smells nice, so I'm going to apply this all over the hair, especially to the ends. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the camera where it's turning a brown color. So I'm going to come back when I am done so you guys can see what my hair looks like with my whole hair covered in this mocha and molasses anti-shedding remedy okay so this i am done with i just wanted to come on really quickly and show you guys you saw how short my hair was how i had so much bed head going on this product even though it is very thick it was easily it was very easy to spread it through my hair so i just wanted to show you guys that don't let the thickness fool you. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this on for 30 minutes and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so I'm back. So now I am going to apply the Reconstructor Treatment. Now this is supposed to, it says after shampooing, apply evenly throughout towel dried hair. Comb through hair for even distribution. Cover hair with a plastic cap or sit under a dryer for 15 minutes or you can leave it on for 30 minutes without heat. So I plan to go ahead and uh, do this with heat. I'm gonna throw a heat cap on. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this on and get started. So now we gotta smell it. Smells nice, it has a um, kinda almost like a citrusy scent and this is the consistency of it it's nice and thick but yet it's creamy okay so i'm going to just do the same thing that i did with the other treatment i'm just going to put this on and just kind of twist my hair up in sections and then i'm going to throw the heat cap on and go from there so this is going on very smoothly also. And let me tell you, my hair feels soft um, from using the other product, the molasses products. I did want to come out and say that. Okay, so I am back from rinsing out the 
last product that I used, which was the Reconstructor Treatment. And as you can see, my hair looks pretty good. It feels soft. Um, you know, it's not, it's not hard or anything. It feels good. So I'm going to go ahead and use the oldie but the goodie, the original deep conditioner, which is the carrot and um, green tea deep conditioner. I mean, main choice has come out with so many great conditioners and great lines, but this one is still a fave of mine. I'm going to go ahead and put this in and then I'll be back with the next step with the boosting kit. So I am out of the shower now. I have rinsed the deep conditioner out and this is my hair with no product in it. So the last item that I'm going to use from the boosting kit is the scalp renewal. And the scalp renewal, it says the directions are after shampooing and conditioning, apply the thoroughly clean a uh, thoroughly cleansed scalp, apply section by section, massage gently, do not risk, rinse, risk, and style as usual. So it says this is a therapeutic scalp relief and rejuvenation. It restores and revitalizes and conditions the scalp. It balances oil and moisture and relieves dryness and it purifies and calms the scalp. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with, oh, okay. So this is the consistency, if you can see that. It's thick, so you can easily just um, put this on the scalp. It has this nice little nozzle, so I'm not really going to go through a whole parting situation with this. I'm just going to easily apply it and then just massage it in like so. And you don't need a lot of this product because a lot came out just from me um squirting it on those few sections i can feel it it's not running down my scalp but i can feel it on my scalp so you don't need a lot so i'm really pleased with this because this means that you're going to get a lot of product for your money and you're going to be able to use this several times without having to worry about um only using it once and having to buy this kit over and over again. I have not used any, um, I have not cleaned out any of the products in this boosting kit. So there is still product left over from everything that I used today. So that's a good thing because that's $25 well spent and you're going to be able to get a few uses out of it. So that concludes my video today. I have used three out of the four products and the last product I used was the scalp renewal so at this point I am ready to style so if you have any questions about this boosting kit please list them below if you've tried the boosting kit let me know how you like it and that's it so as always please remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day bye hey guys I just wanted to come back and let you guys know um, about the scalp renewal so my hair is styled, obviously, as you can see, but I just want to let you know with this, a little goes a very, very long way. So please be careful with it because I use too much of this and I've only used, you can see the container, that much. That was too much. It started running down my hair. So when I started applying product to my hair, my, pro my product, my hair was white. Um, I don't know if you can still see it like right here. And I did not want to go through having to um, re-rinse my hair out again. So just wanted to let you know that. Just use a little bitty tiny bit and massage it in because over here it kind of ran down. Up here, um, that's not my hair even though I do have grays. That is the product. So be careful. I mean, main choice is doing their thing with this line. It's just that a little goes a very long way. So you don't have to use that much. So I wanted to come back and let you guys know. That.